We are in some crazy times right now for many different reasons, all of which will hopefully get their own video at some point, but ranging from aliens apparently to what's going on in Saudi Arabia with the, the Prince of Saudi seeking peace treaties with Israel and the Muslim world and a lot of ambitions going on there that are eerily similar to the pictures we get uh, of end time scripture. Um, so that's pretty amazing. Science in many different ways is verifying scripture. And we're going to be looking today at one of those ways that secular science is verifying uh, one of the oldest narratives in scripture. Uh, we are looking at a video today, a very brief video, where a scholar, research scholar at the University of Florida uh, communicates to us that snakes not only had legs, but have legs, and why they have stopped producing full-length limbs. It's really fascinating, but it verifies and proves uh, what we read in Genesis, where God cursed the snake. Apparently, at one time, it had legs, and then it was destined to slither on its belly for the rest of time. And so let's take a look at that video and jump on in and watch this. The fossil record of snakes is pretty interesting. Uh, it shows us that not only did snakes have complete forelimbs and hind limbs, but it also shows us the order in which the limbs were lost. And if you look carefully at the tail end of this python. So I don't know if you realize what he just said or not. He said, not only can we verify that they had four limbs, but genetic science can tell us at what point they stopped growing limbs and why. And he's going to show you now some legs on a python, and he's going to explain to us why they stopped growing limbs. It's fascinating. You can see the rudiments of his leg, this little black spot right next to his vent. Uh, you see a claw sticking out. Yeah, so the question of why snakes lost their limbs is interesting. The way that we've tackled the why uh, question is why did it happen genetically? So Francisca Leal, who's a PhD candidate in my lab, decided to tackle this question. So we started to look at the uh, genetic circuit that controls limb development, comparing it between a lizard that develops limbs and a python that doesn't develop limbs. And we identified uh, a break in the circuit in which an important gene, a gene called Sonic Hedgehog, it's actually named after the video game, uh, is, it's, and it's absolutely required for limb development, it only flickers on and then goes off. Okay, so <laughs> they're saying there's this gene called Sonic the Hedgehog that is required um, to be active for limb development, right? And they're saying it flickers on just enough apparently to give this python a little claw, but then it flickers off before a limb can develop. And so it's amazing to me. I mean, can you just hear God saying, you're cursed, snake, and you're going to slither in the dust the rest of your life, and this gene turning off in the creature so that now it cannot grow. It's not like this mystical fairy tale. Like there is like the Lord speaks and it, it functions within creation to bring about his will. This is amazing. In, in the python, whereas in uh, a, a human or a mouse or a lizard or any other organism that you were to examine, that gene stays on and acts as the motor, driving limb development all the way down to the fingers and the toes. Uh, so drilling down into the genome, what we found was that there are three mutations that occur not in the sonic hedgehog gene itself, but in an enhancer, which is a switch that controls when the sonic hedgehog gene comes on and switches off. So there's a mutation specifically in these creatures that causes the limb development gene to deactivate because of a mutation. Think about that for a minute. This was not their original design is what that means. This is a genetic mutation. This means at some point, it was designed one way when they were originally created, and that gene mutated at some point in history to now create a creature that does not have legs. To me, that just speaks of this moment in time where God speaks to the serpent and says, because of your sin, you will now 
no longer have legs. You'll slither in the dust. And these mutations uh, are responsible for very weak activity of the gene. It flickers on and it flickers off because the activators of that gene are not able to bind and switch on transcription. That's crazy. So this shows the uh, expression pattern of the sonic hedgehog gene in the leg bud of a, of a lizard. You can see that it's a very strong staining pattern and it stays on for a very long time as the uh, distal structures in the limb are being laid down, down to the toes. In pythons, it's a very different story. The gene flickers on in this very weak domain and then it's gone. Within 24 hours, there's no detectable uh, evidence of the sonic hedgehog gene. I think this is interesting for a number of reasons. Uh, humans have been interested in this bizarre path that snakes took uh, during evolution for a very long time. Uh, it's one of the strangest uh, uh, body plans that you find in, in vertebrates. And I think this lays a foundation for doing further comparative studies to look at how organs and structures are lost over evolutionary time. Yeah, that's absolutely crazy. And I don't know about you, but I, I love when science does this. Now, that in itself is, is awesome. But I want to show you one more thing before we call it a day here. And I want to show you this creature here. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to try. It would be comical if I did. But this creature here, you can see it right here in my search engine. Feel free to take it and search it for yourself. This creature here is a type of snake that is apparently extremely rare. And I don't even know. They might be extinct at this point. But we have fossil records of this creature that has the limbs, full limbs, right, on the on the legs. Um, and so it's quite fascinating. Um, you can see it here, this first picture I had where you have these legs right here. They're, they're really tiny in comparison to the actual body of the snake. It's clearly a snake, uh, but it has legs apparently, which is nuts. And then here's a drawing of it. I don't know how accurate this is by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I guess this is something else, uh, four-legged snake. So I don't know, go and do your own homework again. Here is the name of it if you want to do more research on it. But um, yeah, to me, this is just mind boggling. Now, why do we spend time on videos like this? Um, typically, we don't spend too much time on reacting and, you know, current events and things like that. But we do give attention to it at some points. This particular video and ones like this, the purpose for me is to edify and enrich your faith. Edify and enrich your faith in God's word. Anytime science is verifying scripture, especially scripture as old as Genesis, the, the, the Genesis account, the, the account of the fall. I mean, that's, that's the beginning of human history. Um, and science, secular science, this isn't um, some Christian uh, professor out there trying to verify his religious text. This is secular science verifying uh, not only that snakes have and had legs, but why snakes no longer have legs. And it's amazing to me when we look at this genetic mutation, if that doesn't scream of the Genesis story where God spoke and creation responded to its creator, in a natural way, where the, the genes mutated and now snakes, at least some of them, have the resemblance and the, 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 the memorial, I guess, if you will, um, on their body that they once had legs. And because of the curse, they now um, slither on their stomachs just as God spoke. If this doesn't encourage your faith in Scripture, um, I don't know what will. This is pretty amazing stuff, and that's the purpose of these types of videos. So I hope that it has been effective and that your faith in God's Word um, has been strengthened. And I would encourage you maybe to show it to someone. Uh, send it on over to someone who you feel could be strengthened and edified in God's Word. But as always, until next time, God bless you guys.